Now back to Let's Chat with Tita Gracie, only here on V81 Radio. And we're back. This is our last few minutes in the show. And uh, it's not easy to revive an entire industry. And certainly, the Philippine fashion industry is a complex, very diverse, and very um, vast community of creative people. What you see is just the tip of the iceberg when you watch a fashion show or when you open a fashion magazine. But you see the industry is made of real people, from the designers to the people that work in the back room to the suppliers of their uh, raw materials and from all of the other chain of uh, service providers. And you've seen that tonight, you've witnessed it, how some of our designers tap um, indigenous groups, communities, all the way down to the LGU level, because that is where the communities that weave special fabrics and that harvest special plants for the accessories belong. The industry of fashion is a vital one in the economy. And certainly, we need to call on all the Filipinos out there, whether you're in the country or abroad. It's time to support local, to buy local, to support our local designers. Uh, for our Balik Bayans, next time you come to the Philippines, look for the stores that feature our products. And now that e-commerce is the uh, way to shop, please hook up with the Buy Filipino Facebook page as well as the Philippine Fashion Coalition page. There you will see a very diverse set of uh, fashion accessories as well as fashion designers who will post their videos courtesy of uh, fashion director Jackie Aquino. He has been very actively supporting many designers in his videos. So Jackie, I would really like to express my thank you, my thanks and my gratitude to you tonight for making a very difficult show possible. It's no joke to try to get people from different parts of the country together, but deep down in my heart, my objective and my vision tonight was fulfilled to help you and to, to shout out and to echo your message that an entire fashion industry needs to be revived. And the only way to do that is to work as one to save the fashion industry. So uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Salamat, salamat, salamat. And uh, this won't be the last time, ladies and gentlemen. You will hear from us again because a one a one time thing uh, may be a good kickoff, but maybe in the future what we will do is focus our message and you know become more streamlined and hopefully our internet connections will cooperate with us. But we did uh we we try to do it as best as we can uh given the limitations and I'm sure that our audience would also appreciate the effort. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Jackie. And with that I will close the show now with one last parting message and that would be Remember, ladies and gentlemen, our country needs your support. The fashion industry needs your support. And uh, it's time to choose to support the local fashion industry. Get acquainted with our local fashion designers. Find out who they are because they may just be uh, your best friend at some point in the future when you need a gown, when you need a special outfit, when you need some beautiful accessories that will make your look complete. The Philippines is a treasure trove of design. Let's not forget that. And let's make it strong again. Because before the pandemic, it was robust. It was strong. Now that it's pandemic, it needs your help. And I'm sure our audience will listen to our call for now. I'm saying good night. Thanks once again, Jackie. And thank you to our guests, Philip Rodriguez, President of the Fashion Council of Cebu, Doji Batu, President of Davao Fashion and Design Council. Of course, the very lovable Vic Barba. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you so much. 
Dick Barba, uh, who is one of our esteemed members of FDCP. And then the ladies, the dynamic Carissa Cruz Evangelista of Beatrice and member of FAMPH, as well as our very creative, the powerhouse creative designer from Surigao, Gina Nebrida T, designer and owner of Mindanao-based brand, Agsam Fashion for an, an FAMPH member. So ladies and gentlemen, as we move forward this coming week, remember that we are still on GCQ. Take the necessary precautions. The pandemic is our invisible enemy. Let's all protect ourselves as we go forward. May the Lord bless you and keep you strong and healthy as we continue in our journey. Remember, we have a big God. And the only way to beat this pandemic and to overcome is to hold on to his promises because that way he will hear our prayers and he will support us in our endeavors. Thank you. This has been Tita Gracie Venezuela. I'll see you again. Thank you very much. And have a good evening. Leading personalities, representative insights, relevant current issues all together in a meaningful and delightful conversations as your social barometer. Let's chat with Tita Gracie. Let's chat with Tita Gracie. Sundays, 6 p.m. Hosted by Breakthrough Millennial Boomer Gracie Venezuela. Let's chat with Tita Gracie. Only here on V81 Radio.